Okay. So, uh, I was going to do a funny stinger on the opening, but then I just checked Twitter right before we started recording this podcast and there's some major news for the Mandalorian too. Don't worry, no spoilers. Uh, but I do want to talk about what I just read. So this is coming directly from star Wars, star Wars posted it. They released a character list for the Mandalorian season two. Some of the characters that will be appearing are as following Qui-Gon. Ezra, Old Boba Fett, Cad Bane, that one Zabrak bounty hunter from the Clone Wars, Ravage Opress, which is Savage's brother. I didn't know that he was a character. Young Boba Fett, which is exciting because, you know, Daniel Logan will have a job for the first time in 10 years. Hip Hop <laughs> Trooper, which is a weird one. Tashi Station, which I didn't even know that was a character. That's a place, but apparently it's coming back as a character. Captain Tarples, the gun gun from... Uh, the Phantom Menace, which is pretty exciting. And finally, Tion Madon, the guy from Utapau, who says, thousands of battle droids. So, uh, man, I mean, it seems like they're bringing the whole gang back for The Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, I guess this is going to be quite an episode of the Rex and Around show. Okay, guys. Well, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Rex and Around show. Greg, have you shown everybody who's on the set yet? Did we cut to a wide? Yeah. Oh, well, amazing. I, I did a little loop around. I didn't wow. do a full wide. This is the wide. Whoa, hey. what a magnificent set. Brian, do you want to say hi? You haven't said Beautiful. Anyone? I did. Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. So Hello you guys there. know Brian. You guys know Greg. Special guest, Tori. Yes. Hi, Tori. Hi. Welcome to the podcast. You guys, thanks for having this me here. Michael. This is awesome. I'm Greg. This is Brian. That's, my, that's my wife. No. Just so you guys no, know. No. That's uh, kind of cute over there. I'm nervous. Gross. I want to have none of gross. this. I'm so out. <laughs> I hate it. On this gross flirting, I'm going to throw up. You guys are old. Like, don't do that. You're not that old. You're not that old. We're not that old. Why does we'll he hit you? Flirting. Why does he hit you with the old <gasps> straight out of the gate? Like, you can't be weird flirting. You guys have been married so long. They're in their 30s, dude. Just turned 21. Come on, do, it, do it again, Michael. That explains. They're in their 30s, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Man, Tori. I love being awesome. 30. What do you do, Tori? Uh, <laughs> like right now? Yes. <laughs> Not right this minute. Um, okay, so. Give me your in bio. A, in a nutshell about me, um, I had an art gallery for a long time. Brian and I have a daughter, Levi, who is 13 now. And when she hit middle school, I started homeschooling her. So we put the gallery on hiatus. Um, it's still online, but the brick and mortar is on hiatus. And that's what I do, other than wow. doing um, TikToks. TikTok, there it is. <laughs> there <laughs> yeah. it is. And I was like, I care so much about all of this, but mostly I, I care about we, TikTok. Mike well, was waiting for the TikTok. Mike was waiting for the uh, obsessive amount of time spent doing TikToks, which is for me a lot. <laughs> So, fun fact, everybody, I'm going to be doing some boops on this mic yeah. all episode. We have a janky setup, and Tori's very low, and so the mic is uh, kind of low, as you can see. Yes. So we're going to remind we're Tori. We're going to need Tori to tuck up. Into the microphone. I cannot slouch. No, no, no. I think what it is, you turn your head. That's that's. It. I apologize. Straighten I'm new your at this, eyes, but... but... This. Just give Michael side eye, which just... isn't hard to do. <laughs> if I just lift it, it's going to go back down. <laughs> Okay, I'll do better at uh, Man. facing forward. Hey, we're trying. We're only on, you know, day two of hey, being back in the studio. Is it something that I can hold? Maybe nope. I can hold it. No, nope. We should just order a second $20 mic stand. Nope. The, we have what we have. Is there something that we We've can committed. put here? It just here went right to, back down. To use the ad at to, to prop it up. Oh, you could use yeah. the ad at to prop or, it up. Use the green ad Or the ad pillow. Or the pillow. Use the green ad yeah, right yeah, yeah. So we'll okay. stop hitting the microphone. We're there, starting off with a bang today. Is that better? Well, here's the it's thing. It's just day two oh, in that the studio. Good. We're still see. That's perfect. Improvisation. Yeah. Uh, we also. <laughs> Thank it's you. currently nine a.m. Like we got in and we got right to it. Yes. Uh, for everybody, no, it's not. It's one. And normally we podcast at like nine a.m. sharp. Yeah. I uh, slept in. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing, we uh, with quarantine, we are staying way in bed playing video games way too late. Oh, we're staying way in bed. What time did, yeah, way, yeah, we're staying up way too late. What time did you guys play video games till? Just 12.30, but oh. then I woke up at like 7. I played till 3 a.m. and then Gross. woke up to a phone call from Michael saying, where are you? And I'm like, I'm on my way. I wasn't on my way. Yikes. Yeah. Tori, what's it like having a art gallery? It was very Star Wars. 
we did have a lot of Star Wars art shows. That's it, like one usually of, one a year. That's how I got to know you guys. I I went to your gallery and I was like, oh, these guys are cool. Like it was early, early days. Yep. It was a cool gallery. Thank you. It's full of Star Wars stuff. Yes. Well, other stuff too. When, <laughs> yes, art. true. I only care about but, Star Wars. But uh, when we were in Anaheim and had a big space, we had a permanent Star Wars section, which was which was great because that's my passion. When we had the little spot, we had to switch it out. But it's sad that it's bigger than Target's Star Wars section. Yikes. Yeah. Just slam dunking uh, on Target. Great. But huh? through that, we got to know a lot of really cool people like Sket One, who Brian did his uh, wedding, his and Jamie's wedding. I He's married them as artist. Darth Vader. It's an artist. Yeah. A gallery is super fun. It is a lot of work. What's as, less work? Would you say TikTok is less work? Oh, yeah. Yes. So you're Death Watch Girls on TikTok. Yes. And you you specialize in Mandalorian content. Yes, for the most part. And Death Watch Girls is me and Levi. You and say then for we're the trying... most part. I've never not seen the helmets on. They stuck the oh, identity. Yeah. No, Levi, Levi doesn't have her helmet on about half the time. And if you're talking Death Watch Girls on Instagram, that actually started out as OC7 Sister, which was all Inquisitor at the beginning. Heavy Inquisitor. Yeah. Number one character people are hoping to see for to see these days. They say, I want that just topical relevancy yeah, in my said characters. Yeah, that, Brian? <laughs> I want which cool is funny. Characters. Listen, and I'll tell you what, we just spent the whole weekend repainting our clones who show up in one episode like that. So, um... And we here get they you. Are. Look it's how okay. beautiful they look. Uh, so you do some night owls. Yes. Um, Which Mike has professed his love for. We heard. You used one of my audios where I was like, I don't really get it. Um, you'll catch the feeling eventually. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, when we put Janae in a, a night owl yes. today, you may change your mind speaking of which janae would you would you come present the amazing jacket from the iguana family vacations which is <laughs> iguera uh they should just come just, come just don't hit the cameras oh, whoa dude that was perfect just show your back look at you turn around this is the amazing back. whoa there you go oh, janae oh, you are move. modeling this amazing oh oh there it is turn nope, turn nope, turn no nope, no nope. turn that way turn around there. yeah keep going keep going there it is <laughs> Yep. Anyways, I just wanted everybody to see that. Podcast this jacket listeners. in person is beautiful. It's beautiful. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Janae, for Let your modeling look. skills. Burp. Your outfit looks really cool. Get out of here, sweet Mandalorian. I am a little jealous. Yeah. I, I have too. to admit it. I, I am. I saw it first on Instagram, but in person, I'm really, I have envy. Did I put it on? 100% I did. It looks like it fit me. It that doesn't. It's really short. Little coat. <laughs> did you yeah, do that that'd dance? Be, that'd be Were me. you like dancing around like look at me um so on the subject of <laughs> TikTok, no one got that joke too i got seen it that movie? i got it i got who's it. seen the movie rest in peace okay thanks. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. i haven't seen it i'm only 30 That's i don't know about you yeah brian come on Jeez, greg's brian. ahead of his time look <laughs> we okay so i think i want to talk a little bit about uh i guess kind of how we deal with being uh in the Star Wars public eye. Now, it's not, they're not huge fandoms. It's not, we don't have like massive followings, but we have a little community around us. And um, I think peeling back some of, uh, some of the curtain of what it's like to create content and then be critiqued or uh, hmm. slammed or, you know, I mean, Brian and I posted that picture of, of Vaughn and, uh, the 332nd Grunt, which is the first Vaughn I've seen on socials, and full Vaughn. Yeah. The amount of people Dude. who wanted Jeez. to correct the amount of 14 year olds that Brian, I, no, can't don't go too hard. Can't don't go too like hard. A black series want to critique. Greg wants somebody. to go so no, not hard. hard. I just want right to. I want to. I want to like preface it. It's like, where's your costume? Like, where, show me how good yours is. A hundred percent. And that's. I think that's what we've had to learn to take is. Uh, a whole heck of a lot of criticism. A lot of people assume a lot of things about all of us without knowing us. Um, obviously, we have personas that are out there, but, um, you know, there's fellow creators in the space that, um, you know, I just, I know have probably either assumed things or heard things through someone who said something. And then those are people that sh you're never going to change their mind. Yep. They're always going to be that way. They're always going to think of you that way. And then... They're going to build whatever persona they want for you in, in their head. So Tori being a 
girl. I don't, I don't suffer from this as much. Like I see not only TikTok comments, obviously people like to sexualize girls on social media, but they also like to gatekeep a lot, especially on TikTok. You don't know what you're doing. Not a real fan. You know, like, do you even know that character's backstory? Mandalorian wouldn't do that. Yeah, this exactly. This is the way, like, just all types of... So get into how you deal with that. Okay, so I'm going to say that I think each person individually has a different experience with how fans react to them. Um, because we have myself and, with, and Levi, and we have somewhat wholesome content. What we get, the reaction we get might be slightly different than some of the harder gatekeeping that you guys get because mm. also you we keep our stuff wholesome and light so people don't really go there um are you telling me that but, my stuff is not wholesome and heavy coming no, no, through no. the door well, just no, let oozing me be specific. Rex. Well, i think you guys oozing. go more m way more deep into star wars lore and content yeah. than levi and i do are you saying se. i deserve to be sexualized you know what I'll sexualize it. okay i was surprised <laughs> So there are definite creators that when they get sexualized, you're like, okay, you kind of made Star Wars, your Star Wars sure. experience yeah, sexy. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. Oh, the comments, okay, I get it. But when you and Greg, I was looking at your comments <laughs> from aggressive. one of the TikToks. I was like, oh, whoa, where did that come from? There's only been one other time where I've been hit as hard as that. And it was, I accidentally posted my 501st yes, dude. submission <laughs> photos on Imgur or Imgur, sorry. Whatever that was. Didn't know. I made them public. I thought it was unlisted. Three months later, I went back and checked, and it Bro. had like 100,000 comments. I remember that. And the title of it was just Rex Sub because it was just Rex Submission. I just named the album so I wouldn't lose it. Oops. <laughs> Holy cow. One, the word Rex Sub, it can be taken 400,000 different ways and, and, and yes. changed. I don't need to go yes. there. I, I'm not going to go there, Greg. Um, I'm sorry. not going to talk about things that rhyme with it or anything like that. The amount, because I didn't have my helmet on and I had done my hair, like I cared about it. Like I was really like, you know, I want to yeah. make this look good. You did Ooh. your hair? What yeah, a day yeah, and age, yeah. dude. That was, a, that was yeah. like a decade. I know, I gave up like. on that. Um, just slammed with like really aggressive sexual comments. And for me, I haven't grown up with it or had to deal with that. So it was just kind of like, ha ha, whatever, like that's funny. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, but I think there are, and I, and I follow some of these creators on TikTok, these, these girls who they're not trying to solicit that. And yet it comes in waves and they have to turn their comments off sometimes. Yeah. And so, yeah, you've done a great job of, of curating it, but I'm sure they still come through. They do. But, um, I think for us, because Levi's so young, it's it's a little more few and far between. I mean, we did get someone that DM that was basically like, send us pictures. And yeah. I also react uh, in a way where I try to just kind of shut it down yeah. very quickly. Um, but I want to say it's not just female. People on TikTok, yeah. I think some of the male content creators and, and oh, with heavily. the whole... Uh, you know, Ben Solo, Kylo thing. Some of the male content creators uh, embrace yeah, that because yeah. it's nice to have the fandom. It's nice to have people react mm -hmm. to you. And so it's a very like thin line that you're walking. So, you know, I, I don't want to say because Levi's so young and because I just, it's not my persona we don't really go down that road Good. of being kind of sexy and you do a great job well yeah but, you do a great job of that but i feel like the night owls in general have that like a set aesthetic mm -hmm. we just Power. try to make it a little more powerful yeah. yeah uh and menacing than sexy but like i could still see where people are attracted to that vibe and that sure. look yeah uh but it's not just women that get it it's it's men too it's greg and i busting through the door and me spinning yeah. my pistol i can't i can't tell you how many times i've seen on tiktok uh, that pistol flip is my kink. I'm just like, <laughs> I think it's like a new generational thing too, right? It like is. It's like, I think we're... they're more open with talking about that sort of For stuff. Sure. And, and too, I think it feels like, and what Tori is saying too about, she's very particular about which music she picks Smart. too. And like when you go on TikTok, I mean, it is, the music is. is it can be a dangerous it's, place. It's pretty aggressive and forward. And we have to watch with Levi, you know, and she's she's pretty good about not getting too wrapped up in some of the lyrics and stuff and music, but like Tori will not pick certain sounds that 
might be really uh, trending yeah. and, and going hard on TikTok, but they're, you know, they're real aggressive, sexual yeah. nature, and she kind of strays away from that too. So she might pick or choose something. Maybe there's some foul language in it, but it's not, it's not over the top aggressive. And um, I think that really helps with who engages. She she gets more of, you know, the Mandalorians would never do that. Like the real hyper. And that's what I want to unpack now is so, like. Okay, so the other thing with us that's interesting is that we get different comments, whether it be on TikTok or Instagram. And those are our two main things that I post on. I don't do Twitter. I just don't have time. It's so overwhelming sure. to just stay up. But yeah. with with TikTok, we definitely have the younger fans who, you know, mostly they're just asking about how to make the armor. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your armor? How do you make that stuff? And I'm more than happy to try to answer. I mean, it gets, when you get a ton of comments, it's hard to answer everybody, yeah. but we just want to make a friendly space there. Instagram is where we get it way harder. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and it depends on how far things are pushed out, but that's where if we get more of the gatekeeping. Like, um, you know, I posted something that I thought was fully it was Levi hugging Darth Vader. And I thought it was so cute because in my mind, I just, I see when Vader's at troops and everyone wants to hug mm -hmm. him. Either that or like get the force choke. But in my mind, I'm like, everyone loves him. You just, you're trying so hard not to love him and then you do. And then literally everyone was like, you saw that comic where the girl had the crush and he killed her. And then it oh, made so it, and then I didn't respond it. to anyone because I'm like, okay, that's true. I haven't read that comic, but like there's so much content yeah. out there. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, Levi's 13, Brian is Vader's her dad. It's just yeah. some weird comments. And I let it go, let it go. And then I had a couple people that were like, hey, I, I what happened was I changed the, the text because in Instagram, you can change it. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, update yeah. for everyone that has stuff to say, like, that's not what this video was about. Just keep your comments to yourself from now on, please. I mean, it got to 50,000 views or something, which is a lot for us. Mm -hmm. And then someone comments. And then they say, well, I'm going to comment because I can and I will. Black. And then that was the first person that I've ever blocked because yeah. I'm like, you, maybe you can and will, but what the heck? And that's, so that's where I can kind of jump in with, with what we do. And I think when it was a smaller community, it was a lot of fun for Greg and I to Mm -hmm. kind of go at people but like it was always like a f sort of friendly sort of like back and forth because people knew that about us they were watching the vlogs we did that to each other like it was just like oh they were part of the crew and now i think we've grown so yeah. so much beyond just that small core crew that like there's been times where i'll just i'll just slam somebody and they're like whoa that was really rude and i was like well no, i didn't mean it to be rude and they're like i just don't know why you came at me that way i wasn't and, attacking your life and and it was like and it's like, oh, okay, so like we can't do that anymore because I think it it just has branched so far out of just our little circle that um, we have to be very careful about how we treat it. So now I just block <laughs> because yeah. I'm just like, you know what, dude, if if you don't have something cool to say, like this is a community where we want people to express themselves respectfully to appreciate others, to communicate with each other. And it's like, if you don't meet those qualifications and you want to be funny or edgy or, you know, go at somebody, dude, I think the block list on Rex and around is probably like 200 people deep. <laughs> it's heavy. And then on TikTok, there's probably 500 people because the one time that one person makes one comment that is attacking somebody else or sexist yeah. or any sort of, which is crazy is like the clone stuff. Like sometimes I get some racist stuff which is just so bizarre. So weird. And it's just like, fine, a block, 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 block. I don't even yeah. need to respond to you. And now you don't get to be a part of this community. You don't get to see this content. And it's an issue that we had on Twitter a short while ago mm -hmm. where I think we, I, especially I came into Twitter thinking it was like mm -hmm. a place for discourse, for a place for conversation. And I oh, quickly I mean, learned, <laughs> dude, and I quickly learned and I was like, oh, I need to have a block list of words. Yes. And then if I see a tweet from somebody that is sexist, racist, you know, whatever it is, it's like, even if I don't interact with them, block. I don't want a chance of it coming through yeah. my circle. So I block, 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 because it's just not worth it. Like we've created such an amazing, fun, wholesome community to be a part of, especially with this fandom, it's so toxic. The yeah. Star Wars fandom is so gross. And the fact that we've not been able to- it. Not all of it, people are gonna, people are gonna take that. Sure, let Wait. me correct it. 
I think as social a minority of the Star Wars fandom, so gross. Yes, I, I think as social media has has grown and matured and spread in the in the I don't want to say in the beginning, but you know, a few years ago, it was like number one with social media, like everyone's voice is heard, right? Like you can you can comment on anything, anything you want, whatever topic, whatever group, whatever community you're a part of, you can make comments and feel like you're being heard. So then with that became negativity, right? Like it's it's easy just to dump on, dump on stuff and criticize, right? Like overly do it. And I feel like there's definitely, there's a, there's a, a little bit of a change now where people want to see a little bit more positive stuff, right? So, and, and the way you encourage that is you don't acknowledge the negative, but acknowledge the positive. And if you look at anyone um, that's, that's really big in fame, right? Like way outside of what we're doing, like they don't even like respond to comments yeah. unless it's positive. Say you're like The Rock or you're like sure. a Joe Rogan or someone like that. Like, like well, you only Joe Rogan's pretty aggressive. You can't, there's, he just, there's he does it right though. There's moments, <laughs> there's moments in time where they do. That, sure. As, as a big famous person, I, would I can think imagine more... you get over it at some point in time and you're gonna fight yeah. it back. But for the most part, they only engage with positive, positive comments and responses. Yeah. And I think. It, it's it's what you acknowledge, right? If you don't acknowledge the negative, and only acknowledge the positive, and, you're going to encourage that. And that's something we've had to we've had to learn. I mean, me and Michael, like I said, we it's tough. You've seen it totally. You've witnessed it. Yeah. You're like, hey guys, don't do that. We're just like, no, this guy's opinion dumb, and I'm going to rub it in his face that it's dumb. Um, I mean, I had a guy recently, and I was, after after a while, I was just like, how am I doing this? Yeah, this guy on exactly. it was a sideshow. I was talking about the sideshow, uh, the hot, to- hot toys one. Yeah, I threw my opinion on a post that they made. It was simple. Something as stupid as, hey, why don't you guys post this on your website? And this was on Hot Toys post. This wasn't on somebody else's post. And it wasn't like I was like, that's that's just like, hey. It wasn't rude. It wasn't rude. And this guy like came at me like telling me I came off as a, you know, bleep bleep because uh, I was sitting my opinion like a whiny child. I'm like, he's like, I'm just tired of people doing this. I'm just like, so you're stating your opinion while complaining about other like. Dude, why? You're like, attacking yeah. the wrong person. Yeah. And and I think that's where we, we've learned to become extra careful. And also, uh, real quick, I was painting before this, so my hands aren't dirty, I promise. I just, I'm covered Rusty. in paint. Um, it's the Rona. What I realized, and, and some of mine had to do that, because I did that side by side with with the photo of me and, and the Rex. And people were like, really aggressively being like, oh, I don't understand why you do your armor that way. Like, Make it the realistic movies better movies better. Like, why did you waste? Somebody said, why did you waste all your money on this? Yeah. Can't acknowledge. Uh, it. And it's just like, yeah. And, and that's what I learned is like, Hey, I just, I have to just ignore, ignore, ignore because so what all they're doing is leaving a comment, Brian, like you said, because social media has trained them that they can be rewarded in some cases with a lot of likes and a moment of people saying like, Hey, you're right. I'm going to be on your side. Yeah. And it's that 15 minutes of fame. If somebody can get 10 likes on a comment they make, that could make that that's the serotonin release for the entire day. Yeah. That's it mm-hmm. right there. So it's like I mean on Twitter, same way. People yep. if they have something that goes off and gets like just a lot of likes because they've started drama, they pin it to their page, dude. There's somebody that's like made a, it's a very trophy. controversial, like sexist comment uh tweet. And because a lot of people are like, Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, they pinned it as like you said, it's a trophy. It's like yeah. that's all you have claim to. It's gross. And it's gross. I think the more that I get older and especially with people like Brian and Tori in my life where you you have more wisdom and you've you've seen this happen in a couple different waves. What you know? say? We're only a couple For being old. 30, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> being so, it just is a wake up. So I for me what I I think one of the things too, and I think there's a lot of young people out there that, that even have small followings that deal with bad comments and people bullying them even more so than we do because i think we all have enough of a base that we have people that will kind of correct yes 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 yes. but there are young people out there that maybe don't have that going on and and i think i try my hardest if i see young people someone said like uh, on tiktok to another young person i don't think you have any friends in high school and that set me off so i kind of responded but, um, you know, it's okay to also delete comments because sometimes I think people who do the hate, they want attention. Mm-hmm. Oh, if yeah. you take the attention Don't away, the you take them away. And also it begets more hate. So I will see a lot of times if there's a negative comment that I don't deal with, 
And when I deal with stuff, I try to be funny. I try to kind of like make a joke out of it so mm-hmm. they stop. But if I don't, sometimes more people will jump on that bandwagon because they think it's cool or they think they're going to get attention. Yeah. So as a young creator, it's okay sometimes to just delete the comment. Yep. Just yeah. take it away. And try not to take it personally and because these people just want attention. It's yeah. really the bottom line. They just yeah. want attention. And also, it's like I see a lot of young younger creators, especially with like the community we've we've create, you know, kind of developed, and a lot of members in it like are, are creative artists in their own in their own yeah. uh, aspect. Whatever they do, art they do, uh, image you know, graphic artist, whatever you want, whatever they do, and they'll highlight, they'll post. Store Instagram stories of these negative people making comments. Yeah, and I'm like, stop. You're, you're giving them the platform. They're, they're exactly yeah. what they want, and it's like they're DMing you all these things because you, they know you're going to give them the attention that they're looking for, and and not only privately but publicly. If you don't acknowledge it, yeah, they won't be heard, and it, they'll they'll give up. And so let me address this because I know that some people watching and be like, Michael, you've done that. Uh, <laughs> so I did that one time recently. We're learning. No, I no. I'll double down on this because I was like, "All right, community, go get them," because I just had it. I had, and and that's something where I had just, and it wasn't something that like people could attack him personally. I think he was. What did he say? He said, "I don't even remember. I don't even remember." But hold on, which one was that? I I know. I I (laughs) I keep record of all these things. (laughs) I don't, and that's the thing is like, and I'll get into that in a second, but. It was just for a moment. I was like, "Hey, we've developed something where oh, like we all have each other's back." I know what it is. And what is it? it was the was it the the Nazi one on TikTok? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So somebody stole those. my content, uh, the video of Greg and I dancing, and put like like Nazi propaganda on it. And see, that's different. Well, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> but it, it they they just obliterated that post, reported it. I told them to report it, but I've also done some with comments. Because I'm like, dude, you guys go look, just go look at this. This is real. Like this yeah. is out there. There's people like this. More of a training thing and like just showing people that like, look what we deal with. Um, but, you know, I do want to say the majority of the time, like you guys said, I will just delete it and it, and it stings so much when mm-hmm. it's said. And sometimes when I delete it, I'm like so mad. Yeah. But then an hour later, I cannot remember what yeah. they said. It's, they have no easier. power over the rest of my day. It's like, I've completely removed them. If you don't do that, you're waiting for the response, you're refreshing, you're looking, you're like, I'm gonna go at this person. It's just not worth it. What I've had to do lately is I just screenshot, like something annoys me and I screenshot it and I send it to Michael. I appreciate that. And sometimes and, I ignore it. And yeah, you did one last night and it bothered me. I was like, well, screw you, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm just like. I mean, it's one of those things, it is completely irrelevant. Like it in the long run, it in, doesn't the, matter. in the next two minutes, it doesn't matter. It's like who you. It's like but who I, you surround yourself people. Yeah, but I get it out of my system. That's that's why I do it. To, I, I like guys. that. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And you know what I didn't? I sent you good news back. Yeah, Michael literally responded, "Bro, I don't care." And then, LOL. I'm like, that was the most passive aggressive LOL. At least ever. I didn't put a crying laughing emoji face Dude, like you I do, do after you say something. Dude, I do that so much. You, I see right through you, clown. <laughs> Dude. And that's the thing is like even, you know, and we could have gotten mad that this person got 25,000 upvotes on the front page of prequel memes on Reddit With and didn't content. credit us and put their watermark on it. But at this point, I think we're even beyond that where it's like, whatever, who cares? You got to spread who cares? spread the positivity. And I know it's like it sounds so cliche, but if you look at all the biggest like influential people who, who preach that, like the more you just don't acknowledge, if you don't acknowledge the negative. Now, granted, if it's something like super blatant, and I guess you're trying to figure out like on what scale of, of it is, you know, you said a Nazi propaganda thing, whatever. Now you're making an opinion, a, a decision based on an opinion. But it's like, if it's something like that, like I, I totally get it, sure. you know? But if it's just someone making a comment on a, on a thing, like if you don't acknowledge it, and this is through your whole life, like things you're are talking going, about people in real life people in real you life, don't acknowledge like you, them it it's gonna go away they they you know either they have too much time on their hands and they just want to make people feel bad because that makes them feel good about themselves it translates into so many things in life i'm interested to know if tori knows this quote brian has a quote that's it's famous in our little circle are you giving me a test i'm just gonna I ask i feel like i'm on a game show no. all of a sudden like i'm gonna lose <laughs> let's no see pressure. how well Shoot. you know your husband <laughs> You know, no, we've only been together about, like six months. <laughs> it's better be an easy question. He talks about barbecuing. Yes. Do you know that line that he says sometimes? And I don't know if he's ever had to say it to you because 
maybe you're just a better person than us. But Brian <laughs> says, Brian will go, we'll be like, hey, you know, we're, we're really unhappy like with this person or this situation. And Brian will be like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. They're fine. She's fine. He's fine. I wouldn't barbecue with them, but <laughs> they're fine. And that has that, given me oh my endless gosh, wisdom. Dude, that was life-changing quote. Because Brian says a lot of dumb stuff. <laughs> So much dumb stuff. He, why I'm here. That's he why will I'm say here. ninety nine percent of dumb stuff. Yikes, but that dude. one comment was the one percent that we all needed to say. I give him more credit. Brian, okay. all right, Brian, we get it. No, yeah, you're, you're, little yeah. bits of gold. I, I have heard that one. Yeah, but Brian, you need to credit. Who told you that? Was oh. that at a trip or was that through? <laughs> no, work? it was someone at work. Was Dang, it Steve dude. Van Doren? Someone, no, no, no. Someone actually, uh, I don't. Damn, Tori's just named right oh, uh, no, 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 I. You don't but, want to talk well, about Steve that. Steve also gives me lots of advice. Oh, oh. But no, I, I just feel like... Um, it's the one person I don't get along with. It's the one he doesn't want to barbecue with. Damn, <laughs> we don't want to go. I'm not going to go deeper. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. Because he has one person. What's the, what's the other comment? Million. What's the other quote, though? Tori Can I just say that too. I don't want to barbecue with that person either? Exactly. What, oh, okay. uh, what's the other one? That, what's the joke now? I'm going to text you guys as soon as we leave this place, too. Oh, that was a fun time, boys? That was fun, boys. Um, Here's the thing, My, Brian's like, I'm not gonna barbecue with him. I'm just like me. A lot of times, I'm like, I just want to make sure I don't receive the invitation to the barbecue. Well, like, and that's that's, a, that's what I learned. And I talked about this on an IGTV the other day, and um, I just kind of wanted to get it out there more formally. Where I think Greg and I both, when we got into this Jax. world, um, and I addressed this, like we weren't we were hanging out with people we shouldn't have hung out with, and they weren't bad people. They weren't, you know, they they just weren't necessarily people that we would have barbecued with and or should have been barbecuing with but we, we were did. barbecuing with them yeah. you don't we have to barbecue with everyone i didn't mean to talk over no, you no, no, but you fine. don't have to barbecue with everybody well and that's the thing you're allowed to have people that you're like hey you know what we're going to respect each other on socials we're not going to interact we're not going to you know i'm not going to go after you but we do need to set up boundaries of like hey i don't want to be associated with you because of these things because of these choices you make because you believe in things that are different from what I believe in on a level that can cause some damage. Yeah. And so we got roped into that and wrapped up and, and it, it kind of became this whole series of drama like yeah. that didn't have to exist. It and took us a minute to realize we don't need to invite the entire neighborhood. That's what it is. And it's like, oh, well, we can just kind of, and it's going to upset people. It's going to upset yeah. people when we segment ourselves off and become clicky. Click. But like the truth is, you're welcome to interact with me. Like I, I am, I'm more than happy to be respectful, social, like have a positive interaction. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the oh, people that I want in my life yeah. are the ones that I've decided, Hey, we can bring the best out of each other. And I think that's what I would like to share with the community above anything is like, you don't have to interact with everybody. And yeah. we see this happen in the Discord sometimes where people will kind of butt heads. Yeah. And it's like, dude, just just let them say what they're going to say. Mm -hmm. Let it pass in the timeline, pass in the timeline of life, and then start a new conversation. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It's like, you don't have to react to everything that happens to you or happens around you. Yeah. And that's what you guys say by deleting or ignoring. It's like, there was this mentality Greg and I had where we thought that we had to react all the time. And it was like, oh, this happened. Well, here's this and Engage. text this. And, yeah. and then it was like, oh, just ignore it. And like a timeline, it's going to be gone and forgotten about. And I think I really want to insist that our community, you know, I mean, a lot of them know this already. It's very simple stuff. But like in that moment when you're getting frustrated and angry at somebody, in that moment when you want to lash out or you want to make a post, how much more beneficial is it to the longevity of your life to ignore and then even then, like, you can see somebody who's, like, mean. They age poorly. Like, you can yeah. see it on their face. And and I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be curm a curmudgeon. Oh. It takes so much energy to yeah. be negative. It yeah. really does. People put a lot of energy into it. And you, you, you really shouldn't. Since we've become positive, I've had so much extra energy that I've been working out. <laughs> It's like you I, do, I look, it was you do look butt, like <laughs> muscles. Thank you. Greg, I don't know if you want to um, cut The one thing I did kind of want to say, too, since I, <laughs> Gross. since you guys have you given me the, well, the platform is the other thing that we tend to do, especially with social media and in life, we're, as much as I don't want to be, we're in our world bubble, right? We see things through our own eyes and we tend to internalize a lot of stuff. So like um, I, one thing that I feel like it's, I work on and I've been around, I'm, I'm not 30, 
Uh, and for young people, it's hard what? to like. Um, catfish food. <laughs> sometimes you just have to take a minute and and try to see a comment or see something through someone else's eyes and realize that maybe it wasn't negative how or the tone that came through a text no isn't one's a villain there. in their own story yeah and so because i was thinking Hello, i'm thinking about how you guys you have comments and feedback coming at you from all directions always and sometimes people are like why didn't you reply or mm -hmm. why are you ignoring me when you're really not i mean you guys have the rexing round but you also have lives yeah. So sometimes it takes a I minute know. to reply or sometimes people get lost in the v vast amount of things that are oh, coming yeah. in. And so we do have a lot of great people that are fans of you guys. I mean, Levi and I are small, but I love the people that we interact with, you know? Yeah. And I think that's what's really awesome about this, too, is, is you know, in the in the grand scheme of the world, like people that are into Star Wars and sci fi and whatever nerds if you will whatever they want to call it. like it's a smaller group out of the, the world right and some people have more time to be involved in these things than others and like you said like you know oh, i commented and i didn't get a response like don't let that get you down like we're all super busy like we we do this for fun this is pat this is what we're passionate about this is what we love this is what provides us entertainment we try to give back as much as we can we can't give back to everyone People always ask questions. Where did you get your armor? Where did you get this? And we try to do videos and yeah. things to to educate people to share how we've gotten to our spot in the journey. But but do know that like some people have more time than others, and don't don't get down on yourself or yeah. them if they don't get back to you. Or just know that my inbox is full of people saying, "Can you say happy birthday to me? It's my birthday." <laughs> Logan. Oh, did you get my mess? I was asking for that. <laughs> Dude, did you I, not get that message? Because so you didn't respond to me. Tori's birthday I is coming up. I texted you. I so. tweeted you. I, I... <laughs> she, she'd like you to get Ashley to do an Ahsoka. Can you, can you make no, that? But... Listen, when you were saying that to me, that anxiety that just came out, <laughs> sorry, audio listeners, um, was a pure just, I mean, I, and I've made, and I, and, I, and, 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 and it happened. And, you know, when... And that's what it is. And sometimes it's just that. You should do it. And I would, I would, ah, sorry. Whoa. You should do it. You should actually take all these people's requests and do it. Let me tell and you just guys. do half the audience. Just, just go. That? I made a Steven. story saying, <laughs> hey, just, just the most, Bill. Steven. <laughs> I hey there, it. Logan. Uh, Steven. <laughs> Do we need to set the table? Does everyone know what we're talking about? Yes. So I did that video with uh, D. Bradley Baker where I wished Logan a happy birthday. I knew it would, you know, pop off. And, and I talked with his dad about posting it on socials because I was like, I don't want to post it on socials if it's going to seem like it's a weird. Yeah. And he was like, no, post it. I'm going to read the comments to Logan. And they like had a fun time doing that. <laughs> Until now, it's just, can you do it for me? But um, I even... Post a story said I need to get ahead of this because it's getting a little out of hand. Hey guys, thanks so much for your interest. Unfortunately, this was a one-time thing. Blah blah blah. At least eighty responses to that story were people asking for an exception, and some people didn't even ask for an exception. They were like, "Can you just do it for me?" And it's just you responded to a story where I said I can't do it, and that's what I want people to understand. And Tori and Brian, you made a great point in saying it's not that we don't want to interact. It's like literally so. You know, we're, we all have full-time jobs. Um, I'm doing the Super 73 stuff, which is mostly socials related. So it's like, not only am I dealing with like a massive amount of messages there, but I'm dealing with a massive amount of messages on, on Rex and around. And sometimes when I get home at the end of the day, the last thing I want to do is sift through my DMs. And I try to as much as I can, but you know, I respond to 20 and then I get 20 responses back to that. And it just keeps going compounding and there's a lot of times where i think people tag me and stuff and i probably never see it because instagram is so behind the times it will only show your most recent 99 notifications whereas tiktok you can sort by type of mm -hmm. notification mm -hmm. the smart people are like oh hey greg i messaged rex and round account uh can you help me with this I'm like, oh yeah, yeah i got you <laughs> so if you need a contact you which see. is so funny because i'm that for whenever you know garrett appears garrett watts appears in yeah. any of my stuff I get 300 messages saying, can you get this message to Garrett Watts? Which so, you know, and he's been a great one in saying like, dude, you don't, what you do is your payment to the people. Like you don't owe anybody an explanation for why you can't respond to them. 
you making that content is your connection with them. And he's like, it's just a different kind of connection. It's not one-on-one. And, uh, you know, I had somebody else say, Michael, you're way too accessible. And this was through the super 73 world. He said, you need to be less accessible because you're burning yourself out on things that don't necessarily need your attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you told me that dude, you told me that one time and it was like, obviously lesser capacity. I'm not running a business doing, you know, it, things with famous people. But you told me that, and even in regards to you know what we've talked, we, I don't need to get into. But it's just like being like ob- people obligating you to just accessing because you're you they're used to you being like, well, I talked to Greg and he's gonna do this because mm-hmm. I talked to him about it. And it's like you told me that, and I'm just like, oh, so I can just not necessarily cut these people off, but just stop set up boundaries. Yeah, mm-hmm. healthy boundaries. Yeah, there's got to be a scale to what it is, yeah. right? Like certain things, like like what you did was kind of, I don't want to say it was a fluke, but it was like this random <laughs> chain of events that all came together mm-hmm. and it's something very special it's for, a one-time for Logan. Event. Super special. It was like, it, it might happen again. Don't yeah, it was know. A, but no, it, was it was a, a very, fluke. It was yeah. a very special thing that the came together. Aligned. Yeah. And you got to keep things, el- like, like I married our friends as Darth Vader on May the 4th. Do I want to do that? Five times a year? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. not. Am I well, going mean, to do it? There's only one for, May the 4th. I'm going to uh, do it yeah. for. <laughs> I'm not am sure I going to do it for works. everyone that asks? You know, I get people in my normal life that ask me to put on Darth Vader to go do a, a thing. And, and I generally I get excited because, yeah, I want to put it on and show it off, right? Like it's attention. Like we, we put this stuff on for ourselves, yeah. but it's also attention. Don't kid yourself. Let's not let's not lie. We, yeah. we have social media, we want followers, we want likes because it's it's part of attention. Mike's going to put that it helmet on right me, now. fuels me, dude, because he wants attention. People looking at me fuels but, me. I'm going to wait. I'm but wait. it's but it's um Janae's it's, laughing. it's it's it, it, it you got to keep it special. Yeah. You got to keep things elevated. It's just like you said that's your payment to the people and not not I, to I not to make if, yourself high and mighty, but, but see, I don't think Michael does really much for attention he definitely doesn't do anything for attention not at all not a thing single thing for attention look hey idiot first <laughs> let me say do okay so here's where all right i need to set the record straight. <laughs> this here it comes this is pod racing <laughs> well, that's it. He let say, me he say his voice. okay <clears throat> i'm looking at that helmet Hold on. i'm being I'm fully serious it's like a bicycle helmet yeah props department wasn't Anyways, let me be fully serious when I say this, and I, and I want you all to take me with the utmost, utmost seriousness when I say this. Yeah, of course, attention is a byproduct of <laughs> the creativity that we output. Is attention the final goal? Absolutely not. And I'll take that to my grave. It's not the final goal of why we do what we do. I need a creative outlet. This whole time during quarantine, Janae has seen it. I mean, you've all seen it. How many times have I repainted my armor? How many helmets have I built? How, like, it is obsessive to the scale of, like, I've been painting action figures because I just want a creative outlet. And so this is a creative outlet. And what I said early on was, like, hey, we might as well document this journey because nobody else is. Yeah. Nobody's documenting this journey of, of creativity. And there's some really, really talented people in the community that just aren't interested in sharing. And that's cool. Like, good for them. I, I, I wish I was more like them. One that comes to mind who's recently kind of popped off on, popped off on TikTok is Gordon Tarpley. He is such a creative and inspiring person. Um, and he just kind of does it for the sake of doing it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and I really, really respect that. For me... I, you look at his content and he's just like, I'm not going to really spice this up. He, no, he's Here just, it is. He's like, stating the facts. Yeah, yeah here and, it is. And I love that. And, and I have so much respect for him. Um, and he's far more talented than we are, but we talk about this a lot. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Nobody's expecting perfection. People just want to see the process. They want to see something. So when I bust out my clone in three hours... It's not because I want my clone to be the best clone that's out there. If that was the case, I would spend three weeks on it. Yeah. It's about creating something that brings me joy, that I can share with others, and that might bring them joy as well. And so thank you for taking me so ser- seriously during that, that whole spiel. Um, what, I, what I want to make sure is known is that like attention is a byproduct of our creativity. It's not the end goal the end goal is self fulfillment it's always been it's it's feeling good at the end of the day it's fun i mean you came over the other day and painted your whole 
clone in like three hours and it took me a week to do mine. I got I mean, I painted the helmet. I got I so bored. Modify, I had to modify the helmet. And then you yelled at me the whole time to hurry up. Um, but <laughs> Brian it, texts it was, me. It was fun. Brian texts me. He goes, Greg, have you ever had Michael uh, build with you and he's there every two minutes asking you if you're done? You're done? And, uh, uh, and like basically he was implying that he was like super annoying. And my response to him, and I've said this to you guys already, so you guys give me a fake laugh. Okay. I, my response to him was like, Brian, have you ever been friends with Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> people will laugh because they don't get it. And they're like, ah, what, what that means is Michael's annoying. Well, and that's the thing. And then, and then people, you know, and, and this is something I've had to learn about too, is like people take our interactions, which we definitely play them up. Like I play up my chaos, my chaotic nature. Like when I'm home with Janae, it is not chaos. We are no. chilling. Um, but it's funnier to be yeah. a character. It's, it's funny. funny to be a character. It's funny to like play with it. And am I talking in my first order accent or wearing this pod racer? Like, no, no dude. It, no, I'm a normal human being when I, too. Whenever I go over to Michael's house, um, we sit on the sofa. We watch Netflix on our phones. It's just quiet, dude. <laughs> I like quiet. I love quiet. Dude, Brian was like, when I streamed the other day, Brian was like, Greg, you were just on the next level. You were just wired. I'm like, yeah, bro, because I was tired before that. And I drank an energy drink. For that moment, like I was, just, I had to obviously put up, Dude, I had to play it up, like you, you said. You, you talked about the first order officer thing. Can Disneyland open so we can all get the outfits? Yeah, right, and, and do, do it like the whole thing. I mean, we already. I'm like so ready. The like Tarkin's my dude. I'm like ready to drop some. We heat can do a whole podcast that. in those accents. Oh yeah. That would be funny. No, not breaking characters. Just have topics. Well, like Greg go down the, the whole thing. I was like, like, bro, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't keep character for thirty seconds. Is this seconds. in pity old well, ship and, ready? And you, you mentioned the the energy drink thing, and and in the beginning, you can see that we couldn't figure that out. Yeah. At the beginning, I was all over the place with like, <laughs> quote, developing my character. Dude. Flashback to me in the purple glasses, Dude. just not here mentally, and. You know, worst, it took time to oh. learn. It took time to learn. Me in the suit up video, I am just, dude, in that video, I'm so annoyed with well, myself. Here, and thing, people leave comments all the time. The also, suiting up is boring. Yeah. So you had to like, you had to figure like, Not to how some do I people. do this? I was overcompensating, yeah. trying to find a character within what we were doing, yeah. and it just wasn't there. People and just that, wanted you to suit up. They exactly. Didn't care about the personality. I think it goes to what you're saying, like, they see the end product, right? Yeah. Because you curate what you put. On. Yeah. We all do. We curate what we put on social media, mm -hmm. which is the end. It's the end of it, right? Which is the aspirational thing. But down. people want to know. <laughs> Are you like, using the force? He's looking at people want to know how you got there. Yeah. Like they want to know if, if it's accessible to them, how they did it, um, or how, how you did it, how you came to that point to look like that. And some some of it's reachable. Some of it costs money. I mean, it all costs money. But um, it takes time. And I get slammed. I would say almost daily with comments about how I shouldn't be on YouTube. Like yeah. the the people the people in that comment section of that video are mad. And so we're gonna do another suit up video to yep. kind of correct course correct that. Um, I'm gonna be the obnoxious one. But <laughs> with the quickest coolest character. Ever. But yeah, I th I think it's a matter of like finding your voice figuring out who you want to be, what kind of community you want to have, and then just embracing it yeah. wholly because that's what we've done with this. And, you know, you see people who don't embrace the community the same way and it just, they don't have as long a lifespan on socials yeah. because what's socials if you have no community? And yeah. that's what you were talking about. You've built this mm -hmm. wholesome thing to kind of bring it back around is you curate it, yeah. you curate it so carefully that it hasn't become a monster that you can't control because you're very careful about who you let in. Same with the Discord. It's a small Discord. If I posted it, it we on TikTok, it would have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people. We don't want that. It's no. about keeping it small and focused and I haven't keeping it small. Like, let it grow, but let it grow naturally. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you spam that somewhere. It's just like you get this uh, unnatural, again, un unnatural growth where it's just like people are, aren't going to be, aren't invested in what you've created. And that's that's a problem. And we're gonna have the is this is the second half of the Death Watch Death Watch girls gonna join us? <laughs> yes. Um, while well, she comes in, the one thing I I love about you guys and about other people out there, creators and artists, even young artists, and watch out for the plant. <laughs> um, <laughs> is is to be fearless and put your stuff out there. You don't yeah. have to be the best. I was looking at a, a one of the main artists for the Mandalorian. Yeah. 
on Instagram posted a drawing he did when he was 10 or 12. It's not perfect. It's I mean, it was good for a 12 year old, but you start somewhere. Yeah. And just be fearless and put your stuff out there and then be nice to others. Well, okay. not, I mean, not only that, like you, we've all seen Dave Filoni sketches, like they're back of the napkin sketches, but yeah. they convey so much because like we love these characters. We love what he does. And it's like there's so many artists that that don't post their process because they're worried about the comments. It's like, dude, if you're going to be on socials, you're going to get the comments. Like Tori said, like Brian said, just purge them, delete them, move on, Turn don't on. engage. Turn and on. exactly, you're going to find a community very fast. And we love seeing your guys' stuff out there. I mean, yeah. we may not comment all the time, but I see stuff and I try my best to comment because, uh, you know, sometimes, especially when you're small and people don't comment, you think, oh, no one's seeing my stuff or it's not good. That is not what that means. Mm -hmm. As a gallery owner, I used to do a newsletter every week and no one would reply. But then I'd see people in person. They'd be like, oh, I saw that thing. It was so cool. Blah, blah, blah. So just, you know. And I think a lot of times. Keep too, going. A lot keep of, going. A yeah. lot of times, too, it just has to do with doing things that you want to do. Things for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Like, regardless, just like you said, the newsletter, like, it's part of something you needed to do for your business. Hey, if no one was reading it, fine, whatever. Like, at least to yourself, you're 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 putting it out there and, and having your voice try to be heard in some sort of way. Now, in a positive way. Because that yes. kind of goes against what we were saying about being negative, you know, the negative yeah, right. comments. So of there's, there's a supporting each other, there. you know, exactly. and the newsletter. I loved doing it because I got to talk about artists. Yeah, I loved it. It was a creative outlet for me. Yeah. But there was a lot of times where I was like, are people even reading this? I put so much into this. I put so much effort or like I yeah. put so much effort into building this thing. Do people even see it? They see it. It's a positive people voice. See it. Positive and, voice. and even if they don't like like for like you do it for yourself and it makes you feed your yeah which is this podcast you know it's not i can make a tiktok video in 30 seconds and it has a million views and this podcast will never have those numbers but we do it because we love it yeah. and it makes us happy and you know we do we go to Gal galaxy's edge like when it, when it's open and people are like i love your podcast now i get i get 40 tiktok guy you know comments but we get the one that's like hey i love your guys's podcast and that is like that's the one that guys like oh that's greg i'm like oh, oh. that's, the, <laughs> that's one. the one where i'm like you're coming with us and we're hanging out for the rest of the day <laughs> um and and so yeah I, I think just in general the to promote an atmosphere of inclusion and positivity obviously we say that so much but like now more than ever it is so important to kind of stay the course um and give people a chance, like give them a chance to show you who they are. And we talked a little bit about people making assumptions about me. Uh, my personality is out there on socials. There are people, you know, in our community, in like real world, not on, you know, but like in direct contact with us who have made their decision about me without even knowing me. And it used to really tear me up that like these people that I respected didn't respect me until I realized like, well, hold up. Why do I need their approval when I have an entire posse of people who totally understand what we're doing, who are totally behind it, who relentlessly support us? It's like I need to stop taking my energy on out on these people and give it to the people who are my friends. And that is like the whole community, everybody watching, everybody listening. The one person in Kuwait. Yes. Which I've been meaning to say, we were worried about you because you stopped downloading the episodes. And just last week, I saw that you downloaded some episodes. We're so happy you're Aww. back. Yay. If you're here, can you hit us up? Because I want to know who you are. That's all. Not in a creepy do it, way. Do it. No, in a, no, 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 no. It is. It is. Please, I want that to be on the record in a creepy way. Uh, I have a feeling it's a, I, mean, I would say it's a soldier. Hopefully um, on the right side. Mil just say military personnel. Just, just soldier. soldier, sorry. We don't choose sides here. Let us hopefully, know who you are. <laughs> we don't choose sides. I go, we hopefully it's of all. military personnel on our side. Yes. And Brian goes, well, we don't choose sides. Whoever it is, uh, whatever side you're fighting for, just watch the Rex and Around show. Is that what you're saying, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. Hi, Levi. Good. Hi. Did Levi want to say go. anything? Do you want to say anything? <laughs> No. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, there's a close up. There's a close up. Levi joined us. Uh, <laughs> Levi is more popular than we are. I so. know. I get it, bro. <laughs> this little bit of screen time is nothing for her. Greg, if I had started when I was 13, I would be somewhere better now, too. Yeah. I like yeah. being here. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Uh, this was super fun.
Levi, don't forget us when you're famous. You guilted us enough that we're just like, let's just have Tori on. Let's it, just do the one and done. It is true. <laughs> I'm kidding. It is true. But I do want my birthday video. What? Oh. Just kidding. Oh just my kidding. God. We're going to record it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're actually going to take the, Vietnam music. We're, gonna, we're stopping that. We're going to take the audio clip where you said, I'm Tori, and then used your voice and just insert it over it. So it's like, Happy birthday. Happy Tori. birthday. Tori. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna wanna she's gonna want a collection of voices though. She want Matt Lanter birthday. and Jay. No. Oh yeah, I that have... was really cool. Uh oh. right before the Clone Wars came out, Matt Lanter found our one of our TikTok dances, like the Renegade one, the very first one, somehow, and reposted it. And that was at the beginning where people really were not loving the dancing things. And I was like, that makes me feel so good that they're the best. Yeah. Super supportive. They but probably it, as they, long they're as it, probably so annoyed with me, but they're probably the, the best. As long as it's to the right music. Yes. Anyway. See, now that we're back in here, too, we got to get Greg to do the one. With the... You're All gonna right. Do it. We're going to teach you a dance, People Greg. comment we that you it. want Greg to dance. No, please. Nobody. Yes, Thank. everyone in the comment. I mean, yeah. it's fine. I'll be gone by the time they comment. So you got Come on. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Rec Center. Round out. To watch more episodes of the Rec Center Round Show. Oh, I cut the curve. That's good. You should. I, I didn't know what I was going to say. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. Comments, likes, Share. fuel me. Uh, podcast reviews. Wow, we got some great podcast reviews in recently. Thank Love them. Thank you. Keep Seriously. them coming or we read the next one. Keep them coming or we're going to stop. That's serious. Honestly, yeah. Keep them coming or I'm going to stop. He means it. I mean it. And you know what? We're going to keep recording. We're just not going to release them. <laughs> I'm holding oh, up hostage. So we need that more five star reviews, or I'm holding the podcast hostage. Guys, I'm comment kidding. reviews. I wouldn't do that. No, Thanks for watching. That's everybody. Too much work for you to waste it. I, I don't have that much hard drive space, yeah. dude. That was it. <laughs>